What's going on guys? So today is going to be a comparison video between the new Craftsman 20 volt brushless jigsaw out of their RP line versus the competitor and probably one of the nicest jigsaws on the market for the money, the DeWalt brushless D-handle jigsaw. So we're going to look at some key similarities and differences between these two jigsaws as they're both underneath the Stanley Black & Decker family being both Craft, Craftsman and DeWalt. And we're going to put these through a series of challenges measuring power, speed, and agility to see which ones come out on top. And you know, the results might surprise you. Okay guys, the power test is up first, and this is through a 3 quarter inch sheet of plywood. So, DeWalt was up first. DeWalt's first time was 6.19 seconds. The second time was 7.05 seconds. And the final time was 7.17 seconds. Craftsman was up next. They listed an impressive 6.13 seconds for the first trial. The second trial was a 7.05 seconds, which tied the second trial of the DeWalt. For the final trial, it was 6.18 seconds. The Walt's average was 6.53 seconds, where Craftsman's average was 6.32 seconds. Craftsman takes the win on the first challenge. Okay guys, look at, let's look at some comparisons of similarities and differences between the DeWalt Jigsaw versus the Craftsman Jigsaw. I would argue the first difference comes in the height. So the Craftsman is definitely higher off of the plat off of your workpiece versus the uh, DeWalt. Okay guys, probably one of the biggest differences here is the variable speed within the Jigsaws. So basically with the DeWalt, you have a variable speed dial on the top right here. Versus as a craftsman, it's a variable speed trigger. So there's no dial you can't set. So, in my opinion, I would argue that the if you want variable speed, uh, you probably want more control, and that's gonna come with the DeWalt. The final difference, and I would argue a very major difference, is in the way you install the blade. Now on the DeWalt here, there's a little front clasp here that you're able to pull out and in, and that allows you to release the blade and then cinch it down. And this is an amazing way of securing your jigsaw blade. Versus over here on the, the uh, on the Craftsman, rather, you're pulling this little trigger and you're shoving the blade up there and it's kind of coming down and pinching. That, I would argue, is a lot harder to make sure that the blade is secure before you go to cut. I find myself, uh, when I install a blade, to pull up and down and then I pull the trigger real quick and make sure the blade doesn't fly out. I don't have I don't have that trust issue at the wall because it's a way uh, more secure clasping um, mechanism. Speed is a huge part of jigsaws, and so what I did is I took a two by three and did five cuts at about space about an inch apart. And so we did the first test, and the wall came out with a total of 27.12 seconds for all five of the cuts. Now it's time for craftsmen. And Craftsman came out with a time of 34.03 seconds. So the Walt takes the speed test. Okay guys, so we're going to be using the blades from this uh, Bosch kit here that I recommended in the last video. So the two blades that we'll be using for the power and speed, we'll be using these speed um, blades here. So it's these come in this, uh, there's two of these that are provided in here. And so we use these speed bits for that. And that's for obvious reasons. Why wouldn't you use a speed bit? for a speed test. Um, for the agility test, we uh, opted with a different blade. We used a scroll saw blade for this one. It's got a fine tooth and honestly, it cut beautifully. So you're provided with two of these as well within the kit. And so um, both of these are able in this uh, variety pack. And I think it's like 20 bucks. So it's a really good kit. But those are the blades that we're using for this test. Okay guys, so final test is an agility test. And we're going through half inch piece of plywood here. And what I did is I made a little cardboard template, which kind of looks like a whale. So I don't know. Anyways, so the results are in. Hey guys, let me hop in here real quick. I'm really appreciating all you guys' comments and supports on the channel lately. But right now, a couple friends and family of mine need your support as well. Down below, I'm gonna have my links to a meal train and also a GoFundMe. There are two different families right now. One family is going through a tough time concerning their daughter, and you can read their story down below in the meal train. And also, there's gonna be a GoFundMe for another uh, family friend of ours who recently got into a car accident and she lost her life. Now, this lady 
was a supportive counselor for young children and helped a lot of them through uh, situations such as uh, abuse, sexual violence, uh, things of that nature and recently passed away. So if you guys are able to, please click those links down below and support them. Also, proceeds from what I'm selling on my Etsy account for a time will be going towards those fundraisers and I'll make an update on the channel when I'm able to do so. Thank you guys. Now back to the video. Craftsman was up first with 33.03 seconds for the first test, 28.23 seconds for the second test, and 28.20 seconds for the third test. Up next is DeWalt. DeWalt started off with a shocking 51.03 seconds for the first test, 44.09 seconds for the second test. and 38.05 seconds for a final test. Leaving the average for DeWalt being 44.25 seconds and the average for Craftsman being 29.55 seconds, leading Craftsman to be the winner of today's challenge. But that's not all. We got one final challenge and this is gonna be a subjective challenge for you guys, the audience. So what I've got glued up here is an array of hardwoods. Now we basically cut through a lot of softwoods, a lot of, you know, two by three pine and a lot of plywoods, but we haven't gone through any hardwoods. This is an array of maple, cherry, and walnut, things that I will be cutting the most in this shop. And I'm gonna be making an awesome, cute little pumpkin charcuterie board. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the cutting up in half, basically. Half of the pumpkins will be cut with the craftsman, and the other half is gonna be cut with the walt. I'm going to throw a couple b-roll clips through and let you guys determine what you guys decided was a cleaner cut between the two. So let's get to cutting the final challenge. Now I know what you guys are thinking. What? He's using a 4 amp hour battery for Craftsman and a 5 amp hour battery for DeWalt. How is that even fair? Well, I didn't have access to a 4 amp hour battery for the DeWalt, but also when you go and buy the kits online, the DeWalt advertises the 5 amp hour battery here for the tool. So that's why I'm using a 5 amp hour battery. It's also the XR. So, you know, it's the DeWalt XR jigsaw with the DeWalt XR 5 amp hour battery. So that's what I have available to me and that's what I'm going to use to compare. Also, for the Craftsman, they don't make a 5 amp hour battery either. So it's not like I could magically make up one. But also, Craftsman um, advertises you using their 4 amp hour battery with the jigsaw. And honestly, I wouldn't go any heavier than this. I would not do the 2 amp, I would not do the 6 amp, just because of how heavy the battery is. Um, the battery, as you can see, has a, this battery has a larger profile than the DeWalt XR series battery. So, take that for what you will. But um, I think the tests will beg to differ concerning the power of these two tools, as 4 and 5 amp hours is really kind of minimal with the difference. Okay guys, let's talk about price real quick because price really makes a difference, especially as a beginner or intermediate, you're trying to figure what tool is going to be best for you that it's not going to break the bank. So the DeWalt uh, Jigsaw retails at $199 at Home Depot and Lowe's and that's tool only and the Craftsman Jigsaw retails for $129 at Lowe's and that's also tool only. So you have a little bit of a price difference here, in my opinion, enough to make a difference. Alright guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this test was obviously not meant to um, be the one-all be-all for the wall and now Craftsman's the best you saw in the market. Not at all. But what I did want to see, if, if Craftsman could keep up with the wall. Because if Craftsman could keep keep up with the wall, then maybe it's a good option for some of you who um, are on a tighter budget of some sort. If you guys like the products in the video, products such as this charcuterie board, which is nicely finished now, or products such as this cutting board, these smaller cutting boards, these cute little things. Um, these would be over on my Etsy account, which has just launched and it's gonna be in the description below um, of the video. Like I said in a video before, proceeds from this, I will be donating to um, 
the fundraisers in the description below. Please like and subscribe if you guys want. You guys have been doing amazing on the last uh, couple videos, so thank you guys so much. Uh, take care.